Hey, how's it going, my friends? Today you can call me Darth Cholo. We have some things to talk about, like a, like a, like the white genocide. <clears throat> I'm really bad at a Mexican accent. Hey, I'm going to show you why Darth Cholo is so dangerous, so sexy, and so goddamn racist. Yes, a racist. Uh, my name is Giovanni. I am Italiano. Allora, I was just uh, joking about the whole uh, uh, Mexican thing. Well, bloody hell, you skipped the brekkie, went right to the barbie. Wanna go catch some roos? Help me out back, we can have a good old time. You ever been to the bush? Barry, Mara, Joseph, I told you for the last time, I come from Scotland. Not from Ireland, not from the UK, from Scotland. The only thing you care about, Darth, is getting your panties wet and taking a shite on your fucking front lawn. The only thing you ever get happy about, Darth, is when you, when you make a bad joke. The only thing I get... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. Anyways, time to get serious. Welcome back to Darth News. Special edition, um, serious. Yeah, white genocide. Special edition, white genocide. Well, today's video is something I can't believe I'm actually making a video on, which is almost every one of my videos, but this one, this one is a, is a real doozy. Yeah, this, this one's a doozy. Can't really figure this one out. But before we get into it, I, if you ask me, society is now failing to see, you know, and understand the long, hard fought and won battles and lessons of our past. People just are not looking to our past to, to find a better future. They're, um, they're reveling in our past. They're living in the past, like 200 plus years ago. Like they're living in the past when slavery was a thing. And, and they're looking only at the past and not seeing where we are present day and how far we've come. They brainwash themselves into believing that racism is still as rampant as it was 60 to 200 plus years ago. I guess, for basically, humans have been racist since the beginning of time until like really recently when we're just like, all right, we can love each other. It's cool. It's cool. It's like when depravity and victimhood are promoted through propaganda, when you, when you, uh, I don't know, I guess, obsess over external appearances and external identities, things you identify as externally, like race, gender, whatever, you know, to the point of delusion and paranoia. And then you like forget, you know, that we're all just human beings just trying to coexist. We're all, we're all human beings, okay? We are all, what I believe, immortal conscious beings having a temporary human experience. But I don't know, that's just kind of what I believe. I believe that we're here to experience life, not to flood it with with ridiculous identity politics and 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 victim victimhoods and like, no, I don't want to I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. What whether you're a Malcolm X kind of person or an MLK kind of person or a Jay-Z kind of guy. They all came from nothing. So I don't want to hear I don't want to I just don't want to hear it. All right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go ahead and jump to the main point of today's video and then afterwards we'll kind of just kind of con conclude with a few words and maybe I'll get a few few uh, jokes in, in there before the end. Who knows? Probably a lot of racist jokes or not. I don't know. But regardless, we're going to get to the jokes when we get there. But for now, um, I'd like to just kind of give you a, uh, a rundown of what you're about to witness. So apparently on Twitter, there was a co-host and in the chat of this uh, this video, this live stream, I guess, uh, this uh, this activist, this this Hitler in training, so the co-host of the chat said something along the lines of, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I'm for white genocide and I'm all about putting all of you white possums in a gas chamber and letting that motherfucker ring. Or something like that, I'm paraphrasing. But we're, we're gonna listen to what, what was really said. And it is shocking. It is, it is, <sighs> holy shit. We've come this far backwards as a society. I mean, the kind of hatred that is that is coming out of this person's mouth is is baffling. It's it's mind boggling. It, it's scary. Now, I'm not saying everybody that supports Black Lives Matter feels the same way as this individual, but a lot of them do, especially everyone in the chat. All these people all believe the same thing. Now, even if it's not a large group of people, they're given a very large platform like Twitter, Facebook, social media in general. That's because all these woke tech companies are are progressive. So they're gonna promote this radical ideology and censor logical reasoning and thinking and 
I'm not gonna get into it. Okay, you know what, fuck you. I'm gonna get into it. How is this, what we're about to see and hear, not inciting violence? How is this not blatant racism? If I were to believe in such thing as hate speech, which I don't, speech is just speech, you either like it or you don't like it, but if I believe truly in hate speech, by the definition of the left, this would be a prime example of hate speech. Rules for thee, but not for me. They, they will kick you off for saying Rittenhouse was innocent before he was proven innocent, but they're gonna let shit like this fly. And apparently the new CEO of uh, Twitter has no problem with this kind of behavior. He's all, he's all for it. You thought Jack Dorsey was bad. No, that motherfucker stepped down. I don't, I don't know what happened, but he stepped down. But the new guy, oh. So much worse than Jack Dorsey. I'm shocked, okay? It takes a lot to shock me or to just make me Yay! that the fact that things like this is be are being said and no, and no one no one's batting an eye. We're staying focused on what these idiots on Twitter are spewing, which is pure hatred, pure racism. There's no jokes about it. And by the way, th this individual says, you don't, have to, you don't gotta chop it up. You don't gotta edit this to make it seem like I'm saying something when I'm not. I'm just gonna say it and I stand by it. This bitch stands by what she's saying. So without further ado, let's go ahead and Take a listen to what this bitch is saying. Applejack, hit it. First of all, live to TikTok. Let me tell you something. If you're in here, or y'all go right back and tell them, y'all ain't got to tell them, tell them that nobody else said shit but me. I'm going to say, listen, you ain't got to chop shit up. I am for the white genocide. I am for the total erasure of the white race. I, you don't have to chop this up. Yes, I am for all of you white bitches dying like flies i am for it i am for it i support it i am for putting all you white possums in a gas chamber and letting that motherfucker ring bitch i am for it so you don't have to chop shit up i'm for it and i'm gonna stand ten toes down behind it bitch simple as that so you gotta chop shit up you ain't gotta screw the shit bitch i said it and i stand on it simple <sighs> oh, jesus this is dangerous. This kind of rhetoric is dangerous. The fact that it is not being removed from Twitter is dangerous. Why is it not being removed from Twitter? Because they want the kids to hear these messages, to, to convince weak-minded individuals, impressionable people of these radical ideologies. They're normalizing it. This is, this, dude, this is so fucked up, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. And by the way, so this person is saying this in response to libs of TikTok. Now, oh, you can say that's offensive. No, 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 no. Libs of TikTok is like the best Twitter handle like out there. It's the, it's the most, it's, it's where I get a lot of my content and it's hilarious. It just, it reveals how just crazy these radical lefties are. It just, it, it's very revealing and they can't stand the fact that they're being revealed and mocked and criticized for the ridiculous ideologies and the stupid shit they say. They can't handle it. You should follow them. It's hilarious. Uh, and if if it was the other way around, or even if you know conservatives or right wing people said stupid shit like that, they would start their own channel and, and post shit like that. But there's just they, people in the middle, libertarians, conservatives, right wing. We don't say stupid shit like this. This is this is this is this is no different than Hitler. All right. History may not repeat itself always, but it definitely rhymes. It feels like um, instead of it being like genocide of black people and Jews and you know, now it's just genocide of white people. But it's okay because we're supposed to pay for the sins of our fathers, 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 fathers. Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. You can't accept that people these days are uh, more accepting than they were a long time ago. I, I, didn't, I didn't know racism was a problem. I grew up in a, in a monastery school where everybody was mixed, every race, every, it's like, I never once thought of a black person and went, oh my God, mommy, why is that kid black? Why is Detwan De black? I just don't, I don't understand. We're all people, all right? We don't get to pick what color we are. That's, except for me, I get to be red, but it's a long story. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think these comments were um, acceptable? Plausible? Do, 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 you, do you agree with these comments? Do you believe all white people should just be thrown into an oven or a gas chamber? Do you believe that? If you believe that, then hit the dislike button. And that way I know. But apparently, uh, everybody can no longer see the dislikes, including me. And I'm a paying customer with YouTube Premium, and I'm a creator. So, yeah, yeah I can't, even, even I can't see dislikes anymore. So anyway, I guess just let me know if you found these comments from this ridiculous, radical, racist individual. Uh, some would say murderous. 
with these like psychopathic murderous tendencies. This 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 Hitler Jr. If you if you think what this Hitler Jr. was saying was um inappropriate, then smash the like button. And without further ado, we're gonna get into the main event. Racist jokes. Racist jokes. Racist jokes. Racist jokes. Racist jokes. Into the racist jokes. We're gonna do a whole lot of racist jokes. I hope you like this video and subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I'm gonna hunt you down. <sighs> anyway, you know, for some reason, Tina, everyone thinks. I'm a racist. I don't. I don't get it. They're all calling me a racist. Oh my God, Darth the racist. Darth the racist. It's like I just. I don't get it. I'm not like some extreme right wing KKK. You know, motherfucker. I'm just. You know, it's not my fault. Okay, I've done my very best. I just can't seem to get them to, to understand that racism is a crime, and crime, is for black people, and and Mexicans, and rich white pedophiles. But mainly it's been for black people. They just can't get that through their head. I don't understand. Don't be mad at me when most of murder and crime in this country is committed by black folks. I don't know if that's true. That's just what I learned on 4chan, so. I don't know. For me, um, racism is, I guess, a lot like, uh, it's a lot like watching granny porn. I don't approve or condone it, but I'm pretty goddamn good at it. I mean, I'm good at I'm good at uh, 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 of not approving of it. These radical BLM bitches are just like Hitler. They're acting just like Hitler. I'm not joking. Okay, he turned to genocide after his uh, career as an artist failed. Poor guy, he could never mix colors, and and they're doing the same thing. If you ask me, the only difference between the KKK and BLM, well, I guess it's just you know white and black. You know, every day there's more and more and more Afro-Americans becoming Trump supporters. They're finally realizing that orange is the new black and you gotta get on that orange train. You know what's honestly sad is that Blazing Saddles would not be made today. It couldn't be made. No, no way it would be made today. And what's even more sad is that it was written and directed by Richard Pryor, all right? Richard Pryor was a black man who had a very rough childhood. He was robbed by white men growing up, okay? He did not have a good experience with white people, but he made the movie that seemed racist nowadays to show how silly racism truly was, is. The message is how dumb racism is. But people today watching that movie want to cancel it. They're like, oh my God, it's so racist. It's like, do you know who wrote the movie? <laughs> Do you know who Richard Pryor is? Oh, he's not black, I forgot. He, you know, but what I, what I really don't get, Tina, is that after a year and a half of historic protests, riots, and chanting, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The, the, these lefties sure love wearing a mask. They sure love wearing their masks. You know what I'm saying? It, it, a little hypocritical. Can, can you imagine what Helen Keller would think if she saw what was going down to these BLM riots? Sorry, <clears throat> mostly peaceful protests. Nothing. She would think nothing. She's fucking blind, Tina. You know, through a lot of personal experience, a lot of practice, I, I finally figured out the only way to get to work on time during the middle of a riot is to just, you know, beat the crowd. Oh yeah, Tina, they rioted all over Detroit. They rioted and looted over the Rittenhouse verdict. Everything was gone. I mean, the CVS, the only thing they had left in the store were condoms and Father's Day cards. Fucked up, I know. Is that way too fucked up? I mean, for your information, Tina, I had a way better joke about riots and looting, but some, some fucking black guy ran up and stole it from me, right out of my hands. And I was like, hey, that's mine. Hey, get back here. I said, I said, excuse me. Uh, Black Lives Matter! It didn't matter that I supported Black Lives Matter. He just... He just took it and ran. I mean, it wasn't actually that good of a joke, but he's probably gonna look at it and be like, Oh my God, this is... This is racist! You know, I've had this great idea for a long time, and this is not a joke. I I've been looking for an investor to help me uh, invest into this app, but I feel like all these lefties and, and Black Lives Matter and, you know, social justice and... All these people should should be on their own dating app. And this should be called Plenty of Sheep. See what I did there? Plenty of Sheep. Because they're just a bunch of sheep. 
By the way, I copyrighted that, so don't you, you I mean, hit me. I expect a check. I expect a check by Monday, and you can have it. I've been trying to figure out if, like, do all black people have a problem with slavery, or is it, like, just mine? You know? Oh, oh yeah, I, I, got, a, I got a slave. Yeah. Yeah, he's black. Mm -hmm. Where did I find him? On the black market. Ha <laughs> ha, no pun intended. It's true. Yeah, you can buy slaves on the black market. Oh, yeah. You can just pay with Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Super cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just put them in some regular clothes whenever I have guests come over, and they just think it's like my roommate. I'm just like, yeah, this is my roommate from Africa. He's just hanging out, you know? He's just totally normal. Hey, Umbaka, say hello. Hey, Umbaka, go get some tea for my guests. And say hello, goddammit. So sorry about that. I've only had him for about four days. He, he's getting used to things. Have you ever wondered why it's like human nature to like just hit something when it's not working? And when you're frustrated and angry, you're just like, oh, pow, like hit your TV or, you know, you throw your phone or whatever. Well, I do know that white folk have held on to that ancestral trait, that need to hit something when it doesn't work. Because it used to work with slavery, you know, and then they would just, it would start, it would start working, you know, you'd be like, get back to work. And they'd be like, no, you just like you hit it. And then it starts to work. You know, white people are still racist to this day. It is in their DNA. All, all of them. Every, even the fucking Eskimos. The Inuits. Oh, they're not. They're more like Native Americans, aren't they? They're not really white. Hmm. You'd think they would be white. They live in the polars. But, in, you know what? Forget it. Oh, grow a pair of balls. What, was that too offensive too? Well, you, I'll, I'll, I had another joke. Another super duper racist joke. But on second thought, you know, I decided maybe it was a little, it was a little too dark of a joke. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, Darth, you're literally the devil. You're the worst. How, you're such a hypocrite. How can you possibly say racism is bad when you're a racist? You're saying racist things right now. That's just like, oh yeah, shoot, brother. I'm saying some pretty racist things. But it's the context. They're jokes. I'm making fun of racism with jokes. I know all of my smart subscribers understand that. But to anyone new here who's like, ah, go fuck yourself, they're jokes. Oh yeah, I'm not fucking around. Mm -mm, no, if you thought the last couple of jokes I said were bad, uh, well, you might want to leave because it's only going to get more bad, badder, from like bad to worse. A as in, well, on a scale of like one to trigger, we're a little bit past the trigger. So with that warning out the way, I say we go ahead and just jump into these fucked up jokes. Did you know that most slaves were uh, really actually smart as hell? Really, they were su oh yeah, they were super smart. That's not the point. The point is, most of them, well the majority of them anyway, had masters. Yeah, they had their masters. Degree. Uh, and, uh, well they, had, well, they had their master's degree in slavery. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Slavery is kind of like an ugly, dirty word, I get it. So, I mean, honestly, I, I personally, I prefer the term, uh, lifetime unpaid internship. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're looking to compare apples to oranges, uh, I'd say Jeff Bozo is a, he's a modern day slave owner. Yeah. So is the, the CEO of Apple and Nike and you know, all those other shoe stores. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I'm talking to all white people, okay? To all of you white people, you need to stop letting casual racism be part of your life, okay? It's time to step your fucking game up. It's time to get competitive. Nah, I'm just kidding. Honestly, quit it with all the hate, all the racism, because, I mean, you all taste the same. No, 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 I'm calling it right now, Tina. R write this down, I'm calling it. Just wait, in 10 to 15 years, there's gonna be a whole new breed of sexuality. Yeah, don't believe me? It's gonna be called robosexuals, yeah? People that only fuck robots. I'm telling you, it's happening, and it's coming. It's coming all over those goddamn AIs, all over those androids. Oh my god, that's like so far out. You're like a robosexual? What's that like? Is it like real? Does it feel real? I wanna try it. Can we like have a threesome with you and your robot? Oh my god, let's have a robo orgy. <laughs> I, I don't understand racism, okay? I mean, why would anyone choose to hate an entire group of people simply because they all act and behave the same way? I, I mean, I mean, because only some of them, because only a few of them act and behave the same way. I mean, can we all just kind of try to agree on at least one thing, you know? Can we all agree that racism can't possibly exist if everybody is white? I mean, black? I mean, if we're all black, or actually, it's, it's one or the other. But then you have to worry about the Japs, you gotta worry about the spit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, but let me, let me kind of stop you right there. Uh, okay, uh, that's not true, okay? Th there's only one difference between racist black people and my sex life. Well, racist black people actually exist, you know?
Uh, okay, okay, that's a good question. Five things I can't really stand in this world. Uh, okay, well, I guess number one would be racism. Number two would be the uh, Indian people or the, or the Chinamen, uh, the Orientals, whatever you call them. Uh, three would be sexism. Uh, four would be probably uh, women's rights. Five would be hypocrisy. Yeah. And six, uh, bad jokes. What do you call a Chinese guy with a video camera? Phil Ming. My name is Mr. Phil Ming. P-H-I-L Ming. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Cheng. My name is Mr. Phil Ming. Mr. Cheng, I make the movie with the camera, with the video. <clears throat> That's enough racism for one day. You know, the only thing faster than a black guy running away with your new TV is his kid running away with your PS5. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Nah, nah, I'm sorry. No, Tina. I, see, I already said a Mexican joke and I don't really want to tell another Mexican joke. They're not even that funny. Okay, look, th there's a border between racism and humor and, and I refuse to cross that border illegally. You know, give me the right documents and I'll, I'll, I'll cross. I will. Or if you want to put me in one of those caravans. Oh yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I'll cross, mm -hmm. and then I'll rape a bunch of, you know, white American women, and then I'll kill a few of them, and then I'll go back to, you know, Mexico, and that's where I'll hide. No one will ever find me, because who wants to find the dirty spit? Whoa, 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 okay, that's, a, that's enough racism for one day, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. I appreciate the view, and as always, don't you dare get a pull out. That is P-O-O -O fucking L. And feel free to like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell. But just as a reminder, I've been completely demonetized. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support the channel, please feel free to go to my cash app, do a one-time donation, go to my Patreon, support the channel with as little as $1 a month, or go to my uh, my merch store, darthnews.com, and buy some merch. Buy a beanie, buy a, buy a hoodie, buy a t-shirt, buy whatever. Um, it all it all helps support the channel, and it goes a long way. And God bless. I love you guys. Thank you so much for, for sticking with me. For sticking with me. Nope, nope, nope. Not racist. Oh, yeah. Keep, keep dreaming, Applejack. I am not a racist. There is nothing racist about me. Nothing. If you can't take a joke, if you if you keep mixing up jokes with bigotry, then you should just jump off a cliff with no parachute. No parachute. Hello, I am born again, Darth. From now on, I will never say anything inappropriate, as long as I live. In your mom's pussy. Oh, God! You are watching a master at work. Yeah.